Hi, welcome back to the series of automotive sessions. I am Dr. Krishna Hema, your automotive expert. So today we would like to discuss about powertrain control module or PCM. So this video is made as a part of March Motor videos. So let us get into the topic and furthermore slides. So what is this PCM? PCM, the power drain control module, is a combination of ECM or engine control module and transmission control unit, TCU. Okay, so in some cars, this power con power drain control module is also have traction control system and ABS, that is anti-lock brake system also as a part of this what does it do the pcm actually it collects the information from variety of sensors that monitor factors including oxygen level emissions coolant temperature oil level and throttle level or throttle position okay the pcm analyzes the information and make adjustments when necessary to keep the readings within specified no or normal ranges or you know a certain within a certain parameters this helps the engine to operate with the desired performance and efficiency the other things it does is the fuel mixture what which is the ratio of air and gas or you know petroleum or the diesel whatever is is your car fuel so the mixture of air and the petrol okay or the gas present in the cylinders for the combustion this ratio needs to the needs to be adjusted depending on conditions more fuel with less air is burned when the car is warming up for example once the engine is warm the pcm shifts the ratio to use less fuel pcm controls ignition timing ignition timing is uh, the pattern of sparks provided by spark plug to ignite the fuel air mixture in each cylinder of the engine this pattern can be adjusted to cycle faster or slower depending on the conditions in the engine such as revolution per minute that is rpm which is how fast the engine is, is running the module helps keeping the ignition timing in sync with rpm PCM also manages idle speed. Idle speed is how fast the engine operates when the car is not in motion. The speed can depend on many factors such as the temperature of the engine and the amount of work the engine must do or the load when the car is still. When other car systems like air conditioning are in use, the PCM can increase idle speed to accommodate the load. So PCM, uh, these are the other things, an important job, the, it is like it has to monitor the overall health of the car, the PCM. When a harmful condition occurs, the PCM responds by sending a signal that activates a warning light. So which is engine warning light, which uh, and it also stores a code that indicates the problem uh, to an auto technician. A code can be retrieved with a tool called a scanner and provides important information for repair purpose. So this is the diagnostics data is which is going to store in the uh, in this PCM. So uh, the person who is going to repair this uh, car like he will look after this code and uh, through the scanner tool and he will repair the car indicators of pcm damage so as i said before if you have a warning light uh, so on then you have to think like you know this pcm might be damaged okay and uh, if you have unrelated trouble codes like which is seen by the scanner device uh, by the repair technician a uh, vehicle will not turn on if uh, this pcm it has a damage or poor fuel economy or efficiency is there or engine stall engine stalling happens so that means it gets engine gets hanged so there is a delay in uh, in 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 the engine cycles so you can observe that lag behind so during all these things like you can think like pcm is damaged kind of okay with this i have completed this topic if you like this concept click on the like button if you want for the more automotive videos subscribe to my channel thank you